And first tonight, another medical scare over measles. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandi Peterson. This is the second diagnosed case in weeks, once again affecting Douglas and Washington counties. KTV News Watch 7's Christina Engel, live with tonight's big story. Christina? And Rob, health officials tell us that the latest case is also a child, one who also has age appropriate vaccinations. Now, they can't officially say the link between the children yet, but hearing of another measles case is not only alarming parents, but businesses. Parents picking up their children from Little Blossom's daycare are also leaving with peace of mind Thursday. They call us electronically on the phone and then they give us information when we came in. Dozens of families informed that a child diagnosed with measles visited the Blair daycare January 20th through the 23rd. Employees did not want to talk to us, but health officials say the child may have also been contagious at a second location. Jake's Sports Bar and Grill the evening of January 22nd. I had five people working that night and um, I got in contact with all of them as soon as I could. Owner Justin Shank says they already have a rigorous cleaning schedule in place. We clean all of our food contact services four times a day, before and after lunch and before and after dinner. Which he hopes at least help limit the spread of the virus to customers, but still, he worries about his staff. One of my employees has um, a nine month old. One of my employees is pregnant. And so I'm probably more concerned for them than, than for myself or for my family, truly. The CDC also says measles, while highly contagious, is only airborne for two hours. Children less than a year old are too young for the vaccine, but health officials say in this latest case, the child was, quote, age appropriately vaccinated. A concern for some parents we talk to, but others are confident modern medicine will do its job. They're vaccinated. My kids are healthy. Now, the symptoms start out like a cold, runny nose, fever, sore throat, maybe pink eye. Then the rash begins, starting at the hairline. Most people recover just fine, but measles can be deadly. It can also cause damage to the brain as well as pneumonia. Now, the CDC recommends children get the vaccine between 12 and 15 months, then another between 4 and 6 years old. Guys, back to you. All right, Christina, thanks. Now take a look at the increase in measles cases nationwide. The numbers come from the CDC going back to 2001. They're mostly consistent until last year when cases skyrocketed to 644. And as of today, there are already 84 cases this year. Most are in California connected to an outbreak at Disneyland. Trouble of a different kind affects.